Hey, Soma. Hey, Jake. Do you like video? Yeah. Say no. No! Well then, did you know that we do a podcast which is like this but without the video and with more sound? It has bonus material and you can put it in your ears. Look at the description for the link. So, 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 I thought I would bring something up. I had a couple of people ask me at the conference I've been recently. Because they asked me, like, what's, what's your background? Like, how did you end up ah. in, in doing what you do? And I like, get emails like this as well, yeah? sort of saying, like, oh, sort of, how did you get where you are? And I, the answer is usually dumb luck. <laughs> yes. And that's, that, is kinda, that is always how I reply. Um, and I think this is a tweet that I've mentioned on either the uh, video series or the pod podcast before. We do a podcast. Did we do you a know? podcast. We do a podcast. There'll be a link. Uh, we do, yeah. And my answer is always, well, it's like telling people like the numbers I used to win the lottery. Yeah. And it's I don't I'm not convinced. This that might I... not be helpful to you at all. Yes. So I guess what we're going to sort of talk about our backgrounds. Yeah. And how we I got where we were. My, I I have no shame. Well, yeah, and if you thought previous episodes of HTTP 2 and 3 were entirely self-indulgent, <laughs> you haven't seen <laughs> nothing yet. This is, this is the big one. All right, I was born. <laughs> yes, OK. This is going to be a long episode. <laughs> no, I, I think from looking at our team, mm -hmm. I'm more on the traditional side of how I ended up here. I studied computer sciences, did my bachelor's, started a master's. Wait, wait, so you're, you did computer science before your bachelor's? Or what, um, what, what? what? Yeah, I had interests. I did the odd language here and there. And that was at high school? Um, yeah. Like formally or just in your No, own? just like oh, self-taught okay, okay. because school, it was not useful. Was not useful. Not, the, okay. the, the computer science class or computer classes that we had were not useful to me. And I already. But you did have computer classes. We did. Right. But that was more like. I feel like I'm having to really dig for this information. <laughs> That's not what I wanted to what talk did, about. Oh, sorry. OK, what do you want to talk about? You just talk what you want to talk about. No. I'll, I'll sit back, <laughs> and you let me know when I'm allowed to come in. <laughs> and ask you some questions. Well, I thought I, I'm more visual because I did, in fact, actually study computer sciences, which right. I know of people on our team actually did not. Or I know a couple of people, even also that did not. You are one example, because yeah. you did not study it. You studied multimedia. Oh, that's very precise. Well, what could be better than media? But <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> multimedia. It's like multivitamin sounds... juice. But <laughs> <with> <laughs> I want vitamin juice or multivitamin juice. That's what I'm. That's what I'm going for. Yeah, and uh, you still ended up here, regrettably. <laughs> <laughs> that is. I think that goes back to what we're saying about dumb luck. That is, like, we, so many people. Like, I work here uh, at Google. That sort of prides itself with like hiring the best people. I'm like, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I'm sitting alongside people who went to prestigious universities, like yeah. you know, Oxford, Cambridge types, and that does make me feel like it gets the. Um, or would you call it the, the imposter, syndrome? imposter syndrome? It gets that going. Uh, but then on the other side, I'm like, ha! <laughs> you had to do a hard university course. <laughs> <laughs> and I cheated. <laughs> I got here somehow. But we, OK, you that, did. That's pretty much what I think is worth pointing out, that especially web development or anything, a lot of software engineering is so internet-centric that you can mm. find anything you want on the internet. And Teach it yourself if you want to. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like the formal degrees are good. I'm, I don't want to say that studying computer science wasn't useful. Like I learned things, definitely. Things that I'm not necessarily using nowadays in the web job that I have. Are you sure? OK. Not often. There's some things I am using. So when we, I think we spoke about before that I, like, that you come from, that you're much better at the low level stuff than I am. And I, Which, I always thought that I put that down to like you did a lower level course, like you did a course like what compilers were involved in, and I did a course that had VRML and <laughs> Adobe Director or like um, it was Macromedia at the time, I guess, and, right. like, and Flash. Like my yeah. course was predominantly Flash. I mean, yeah, I did have a course on compilers, but I think I know more low level stuff because that what my first job was about. Well, so why, why did you pick to do a computer science degree then? What was your because I didn't know any better. Like, it seems like the obvious choice. I, I enjoyed maths. And people, uh, when I said I enjoy computer science, I want to do a computer science degree, people were like, do you know it's a lot of math? Right. And I'm like, well, I can enjoy math, so I'm OK with that. OK. So, and then I just 
studied computer sciences. And not I didn't enjoy everything in there. Like some courses I did not enjoy. They were just really out or not relevant to my interests. So it's interesting. In, in my multimedia course, it was the, the same story was, was true. Like, it, was, it was predominantly Flash, but we did have some web courses. Mm. There were actually courses that I, I, I was always interested in the, the, the computing side that got you to something visual really quickly. Right. So I, like, on my Amiga, Deluxe Paint was my thing. <laughs> I loved it, like making animations. I thought I was going to be a designer, because that's what I really loved. Interesting. There's a small problem with that. Rubbish at it. <laughs> <Right>? Seriously bad <laughs> Have at you it. seen our prox intro? <laughs> the prox <laughs> intro is beautiful. Don't mess with the prox intro. But yes, you see, you see where things went wrong. Um, so, so yeah, so it was the, when I kind of went on to the, the PC and the web, like the web was really, I was like, I mean, it's the shortest feedback cycle you can have, right? Yeah. Like, do a thing, see a thing. It's great. And I was like, I want to make that. And then I found this button called View Source. Dun, dun, dun. And, and, <laughs> I, but that was it. Like, when, I, when I worked with executables or used executables in the mm. past, I was like, it, it felt there was, I couldn't figure out how to get there. And that's what drove me. Because what I asked, whenever somebody said he is a programmer or whatever, mm -hmm. I was like, how do I make exe files? Right. That was drove me because I wanted to understand. Because what I did, I opened the exe files in Notepad and changed the strings that I saw. And sometimes it would still run, and sometimes it wouldn't. The <laughs> and only yeah. later I figured out it only kept working if the string was the exact same length as before. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So we did a, so this is the thing. I guess the difference between you is you looked at the exe file and went, I'm going to do that, whereas I went, <laughs> I can't know this. This is, impo <laughs> this is impossible. I, I can do it now, but at the time I was like, no. And then the web just gave me the easy answer to how this was done, and that was. Yeah. It was. It took surprisingly long because people will like the people I asked were trying to give. I guess I was fairly young. I must have been like ten or something when I was trying to do this. And when I said like, how how do I make exe? <laughs> and they were trying to give me, oh no, don't do that. Here's programming. Use Excel. And I'm like, uh. that's that's not programming. I mean, I know what they were getting at. Right, like it's reactive programming, and you you, you do formulas. And we're like, but I want the exe file. Yeah. Yes, I always thought for, for me that the it was the exe file and the screensaver, which are kind of pretty much the same thing. Yeah, uh, I later learned that was like the whoo, -hoo, this is this magic behind those files. Yes, on the file editing thing, um, the closest I got to that was a uh, Grand Theft Auto One uh, that we found the WAV files for the cut sequences. <laughs> <laughs> Which will also be like it would always be this like like amazing artwork of mm. like some serious gangster, and me and my friends would just record like hello, <laughs> <laughs> Reginald here. <laughs> I've been shooting some people up, <laughs> but I'm done now, and I'm going to go <laughs> start That's a cake shop. I, like, I think Grand Theft Auto One was the one where I also went in and found some .dot uh, ini files where you can just go in, and then they're pretty human readable, and, uh, and then stuff like. Okay. Debug mode, and I was like, "Yes, please." So this, uh, I think we, we're, just, we're coming to is it, like it's hacking around was really. Yeah, sort of I think entry point. it seems to be what what is it's always a, a weird kind of passion or interest that drives you to just dig deeper because otherwise I wouldn't have cancelled on my friends and stayed at home <laughs> to keep working on something stupid. I really meaningful order has gone completely from this episode, so I'm going yeah. to jump back to education um, and that like. The, we we learned how to one one module that we had was making a website without using Dreamweaver or something like that. Yeah, which I which was actually useful because mm -hmm. I'd never tried that before. And we also did um, one module on CSS Zen Garden. Do you oh. know what that is? I I've heard of it. I don't think I've ever used it, but I roughly know what it's about. It was kind of dawn of CSS becoming mm -hmm. the right way of doing things, and it was a, an HTML page, and you were only allowed to change the CSS, and it was essentially an art gallery. Of different things people could create by only changing the CSS. Oh, the page. it's by okay. Dave Shea, um, who I saw, and I thought it was like, it was actually quite a modern thing for us to mm. do that at university. Um, but then I met Dave Shea later on, and I was like, we did a module on you <laughs> at university. It was a sort of it was a weird moment. But I would say it's like that. Yeah, the, a lot of the course was it depending on, depending on the teacher. A lot of it was out of date. Uh, I remember a question on my exam paper, um, which was about CSS. It said, like, what does this CSS do? And it had a dot active uh, color red. That should be a colon, shouldn't it? Should be a colon, shouldn't it? <laughs> and so the person who marked that must have hated me. Because I, I wrote two answers. 
And it's like, one of these answers is the answer you think. Because <laughs> I was, because I just was so Either you're obsessed. looking for a link tag with an active class uh, on it, it or yeah. you meant to say. Or you, maybe you meant to say this, and the teacher was just like, is it illegal to punch pupils? Because <laughs> <Like, laughs> you know, I, I had done a bit of web stuff on the side, so I felt really smug, and uh, it, was, yeah, yeah, it was probably if you can probably if you can outsmart the professor, then yeah, that's winning. But for me, the most important part of my course was the year in industry. It was a four-year course, mm -hmm. and in the middle, work experience, and that I didn't have that. That's why you're rubbish, mate. <laughs> <laughs> so well, I got I did that myself because, and in my second year, I think I. Try to do my own company with a couple of uh, other students that oh, I befriended. Oh, yes, you did do that. I did. And that's how I got into the whole low-level stuff, where I did microprocessor programming and hardware engineering and all these things from the very basic electrical engineering knowledge that I had, mostly taught from my mom, who was an electrical engineer. Oh, and I didn't have that. My dad played guitar. <laughs> did he teach me guitar? Dad, teach me guitar. No, you're left-handed. <laughs> <laughs> Not stringing this up again. Actually, he was very supportive. I just I wasn't cool enough. <laughs> Didn't have the dexterity. Um, so yeah, that's that's where I picked that up, and my, my company failed miserably. Like it right. was absolutely not a success after two years of working full time and not paying myself anything. So okay. I do recommend. It's, yeah. <laughs> what did you learn from it? Is that? That's what I was like. I would never do it again, but I also would not skip it. If right. Because it, I, I, I got all my context during that. I learned so much about what I want to do and what I'm good at and what I'm not good at. I'm not good at being a CEO because I spent all my time doing legal and taxes. And like, no, that's not what I'm good at. Did you, this is, I, yeah, I know I'm taking this episode in random directions again. Did you have to, I mean, it's fair to say, like we were talking about, we've got a lot of luck. There's also a lot of people who have to, who've had to, who have to overcome a lot of stuff, yeah, to like sort of to, to make it or to just like so you know survive in the industry. Did you get anything close to that? Was there anything that you had oh, to I overcome? Was, I I had massive a lot of lots of privileges along the path that made it very easy to end up where I am. Mm. Considering that, so my my dad is a doctor, who ah. was one of the first doctors to adopt a computer system for his patients instead of having a paper what? file system. And for some reason, he allowed, so he had a computer at home, which was not the norm in the mid-90s, mm. necessarily, I would say, like a proper Windows 3.11, good times. Yeah, yeah. And I, I mean, I wouldn't do anything related to coding on there. I would just sit there and not be afraid to touch a computer and just open up paint and draw, because that's what I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, he allowed me to use a computer. And I bricked it more than once, and <laughs> he still allowed me to use it, despite this being his you know, work computer with his patient's data on there. Um, so that's obviously a, a massive head start to many other people who did not have a computer at home at age six or seven. You see, I, I did. Uh, so my, my, my family uh, weren't particularly well off. We were, I, wouldn't, I don't know if I'd say we were poor, uh, but we weren't well off either. Yeah. But it was like definitely when um, uh, my sister arrived, um, that my dad went, well, what are we going to do about this other child? <laughs> Get him a computer. I, and that was, I got a ZX Spectrum 81. I was a, a Sinclair Spectrum. And that was kind of like, and, and when I saw, like, because obviously, you know, my dad was thinking two things, like, we'll get the boy a computer. He was also thinking, we'll get the boy a computer. <laughs> and, and so, and he did a bit of programming on that. And I found that almost more interesting than the games right. that came with it. And that was, I yeah. think, um, but because I was, I tended to be on the generation of machine behind um, the kind of people that were richer, I, I sort of felt like I, I was trying to get the most out of the system, right. and that led to a lot of like hacking. It led Hashtag to a lot perf of matters. perf matters. Yeah, <laughs> right, right from the start, that was it. <laughs> and um, yeah, and, and and like trying, I was really interested in the demo scene. I was never really on it, but like I was really fascinated by like yeah, people who were that. really driving computers. So would you say that that's what made you go into programming? That you saw your dad do a little bit of Coding there? Yeah, 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 yeah. Because for me, that was my cousin. Oh, interesting. Yeah, but I didn't like. I was okay with computers. I was good with computers. I knew yeah. my way around them. Was comfortable with them. But I didn't do programming, and I hadn't any interest. I didn't know what it was. And then I saw him write a a batch script, like Windows batch scripts, mm -hmm. that would just output stars and two spaces as far fast as possible. And so it would look like snow falling in the terminal because it was so fast. It actually looked like it was going down. Oh, nice. 
And I took that script and I turned the stars into a backslash, and now it was rain. And I was like, <laughs> I'm a hacker. I was the star of my school because I could like write on the screen, Mr. Butler has farted one time, has farted two times, <laughs> three times, and make that go down the screen. And everyone thought that I was the funniest kid in the classroom. I'm like, yep. I coded the machine. That's You're not it. that different today. No, I still do that <laughs> trick. <laughs> Just the name at the start changes. <laughs> the website but, with Kinlan. Yeah, but there was one one teacher I had at school. Um, uh, he was a science teacher who I, I guess didn't like children. He definitely didn't like being in the north um, because I was doing like computer stuff, and I think I was probably not. I was probably being um, annoying. <laughs> to find search for the right word, let's say annoying, uh, severely annoying. And he sort of took me aside at one point, and so he kind of went, "You think you're pretty smart. Like, you think you're pretty smart, like the computers and stuff. But compared to kids in the south, you're nothing." Yeah, yeah, yeah. all yeah. right. And so, it, and that is probably the only time in my career that I kind of really like felt that. Um, and so, when people talk about, um, uh, I guess you know, especially like women in the industry, uh, minorities who are getting that like, every day. Every day, yeah. that that moment that happened to me is the one thing that I can hang on to and think, God, how that made me feel. I I would not I would not make it. Yeah. I would not make it if that was constant. Like so, it's yeah, it, it's horrible that that happens. Um, and that's the only thing I've got that I can get some empathy. <laughs> I could just expand, multiply that by millions. Yeah, pretty much, isn't it? So, so, so what is the bottom line? What is the bottom line? I mean. As I said, like there's so many people that I work with, we work with, that come from completely different fields and will put us in a corner in the things that they can do. Yep. Um, that I hope more companies adopt the whole you don't need a degree to get hired as a web engineer or something along those lines yep. because they're missing out on some very, very good talent out there. Yes, and yes. The other way around, nobody should feel discouraged from getting started in web development just because they come from an orchestra background or something. Yeah. Like It actually might have some really nice synergies that you're not aware of yet. Anyone can be a web developer as long as you're extremely lucky and <laughs> are in the right place in the right time. What in it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. is, 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 that's our moral. <laughs> that, that, that's, that's bleak. But <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's like, don't, don't be discouraged, but don't also feel you have to copy someone else's footsteps. Yeah. Because the, the, when someone tells you, Here's how I made it. They are almost certainly completely wrong. They made it through some other things, some luck. Um, and if you're trying, to, you know, if anyone watching this is trying to make it in the industry, then hope you have the same luck. Keep going. Keep going. HTTP 203 swag. It's just a button yeah. that goes so 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 <laughs> so 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 so. We just get like get a full keyboard with different pitches. So 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 so